This is a video demonstration of replacing the gasket in a Ritter M7 speed clave. It's really just a simple white O-ring. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is take the old gasket out. Um, I just use a small flat screwdriver for that. Um, if the gasket's already gone, you're really not going to damage it anyway. Just get it up under the lip in there and give it a little pry until the corner comes out. Once you get a little corner out, you can just kind of grab a hold of the gasket and pull it straight down. You can see that one's pretty nasty. It's really ready to be replaced. One of the things that you'll notice with our gasket is uh, it replaces these hollow uh, hollow rubber gaskets and they're prone to uh, actually getting holes worked into them, especially if you uh, especially if you use a tool to to remove the gasket to clean it off. Uh, what you'll see in our gasket is that it's actually made from a uh, solid rubber. So even though it has the same uh, pliable texture, uh, it's a solid core as opposed to the uh, to the hollow. So it's considerably more durable. So uh, let's go ahead and put our new gasket in. What we're going to do is we're going to start at the top uh, and fit the uh, fit the gasket up in the groove and uh, get it up in there nice and tight, about you know as far as your the tips of your fingers will go around it. And then what you want to do is you want to work the gasket up. If you push it in, it's going to be a little bit larger than the cavity itself. So if you, uh, if you work it in uh, from about the bottom third there, with, you'll have a little bit of slack on the inside. You just work that slack up into the inside of the groove. So, and then do the same thing on the other side. And we're going to just keep working that working that excess back up in there. It does, it does take a, it does take a minute. I, one of the things that I will uh, recommend against is uh, using any kind of solution, uh, soap or anything like that. What you really want um, for this unit is uh, you want the, the gasket to be dry and kind of a little bit tacky um, because it's going to really going to need to like stuff it up into that groove real nice and tight just like that and go all the way around it might have you might have it in a, in a couple of you know a couple of places where it's um, where you got to knead it down to keep it straight um, but otherwise, as long as it's up into the groove, you're pretty good, as long as nothing's uh, kind of sticking out. And then once you get it in there, real good like that. Wear around. And once you bring the door closed, that's going to push the rest of that up into that groove anyway. First time you cycle it, uh, once the pressure builds on it, uh, you're going to get a nice tight uh, seal around the inside of the, the door against your gasket. I hope this was helpful, and uh, if you have any questions, you can feel free to contact us uh, on the number that's on our website. Thanks.